All right, fold it tight. <laughs> Our students at Pi Academy have been working on an engineering unit called Shake It Up. So we're learning about engineering buildings that would withstand earthquakes, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake. The students created a shake table to simulate an earthquake movement and then they have created structures um, using the engineering design process to make their structure strong enough so it doesn't slide, tip, or shear. With the shake, it, shake up unit in the learning about earthquakes, the students learn some about how earthquakes happen on planet Earth. But the main focus was engineering the building to withstand the earthquake. So by students working together, communicating with the group, working on collaboration, um, they are using a real life model to solve a problem. So they're focusing on earthquake resistant buildings in this um, in this activity. <laughs> but I mean, you could do it in many different ways. We want to reinforce to the students that what we learn here at school can apply to real life, and they can bring in things that they learn in the news into school and try to solve problems. We do find the students are very engaged in the engineering activities. There's many reasons. One, it's real life situation. They can apply it. We can look at times when earthquakes have hit Haiti, we talked about that from 2010. Um, the students are working in a team of four and that can have its own challenges, but I think it's really important that they're learning to work together as a team, collaboration, and then also communicating with each other. With this unit on earthquakes, we have worked through several small trials to try what things would help our buildings withstand the earthquake. And so through those small trials, then the students have taken the things that they have learned and now are imply, applying it to their own structure. So they could pick to build houses, apartment building, um, which is four levels high, showing its own challenges, um, a hospital. And so with these challenges, the students have really been able to include creativity in what their building looks like and how it can be structurally sound.